G'day guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install our Firechoke Premium Hinge Retrofit Collars and our Firechoke Conduit Collars around some typical services and show you the tips and tricks about how to get compliance on site. Now with all pacifier materials you do need to make sure that they're tested for exactly what you're trying to do with them. So the first step should be to check out the product manual on tfi.com.au to see the range of approvals for walls and floors with our collar systems. Now in today's video, I'm gonna run you through some sample installations where we'll look at plastic pipes, conduits, some mixed services with HVAC, hair coil and cables, um, as well as using a MaxiLite board for when you get issues with oversized openings. So we're gonna start off today with the fire choke conduit collar. Now these are approved for PVC pipes and conduits up to 50 mil in diameter, as well as PEX pipes and gas PEX pipes for 25 mil diameter in a range of wall types. Now the first thing you need to do is to seal up any gaps around the pipe or conduit with a Fireflex acrylic sealant to a depth of 10 millimeters on both sides of the wall. Then you simply clip the collar around the conduit or pipe, push it up to the wall, and screw it into place with screw fixings as appropriate for the wall type. Now that you've done the collars on this side of the wall, you do need to put the collars on the other side of the wall to stop the fire coming from either direction. Now we'll look at the Firechoke Premium Hinge Retrofit Collar. These collars come with a hinge so you can open them right up and a nice steel clasp that lets you clasp it around the service and hold it in nice and tight. Now these Firechoke Premium Hinge Retrofit Collars are tested for PVC pipes as well as mix services, but before you get carried away, it's always worth going to check the technical manual to make sure what the services that you've got are something that we have tested. Now these coils have been tested for insulated pair coil with their cables and associated drain lines and we can do them with 50 mil collars to 80 up to 100 mil collars with three sets of pair coil. So once again we're going to seal up the gaps with our Fireflex acrylic sealants. Then you simply place the collar retrofit around the services nice and tight. Do up the clasp and push it onto the wall. And once again, you're gonna screw it into the wall using screws that are appropriate for the wall type you've got. Now, once the services are in place with the collar, you need to backfill the collar again with our Fireflex acrylic seal. Make sure you get it all the way to the, the full depth of the collar and in and around any gaps and crevices that might pop up. Now some of these mixed service penetrations do require additional T-wrap to stop the heat transfer from coming through the penetration. So I've cut off a bit of 300 mil wide wrap and I'm just gonna wrap it around in place and hold it with some foil tape. And when you're putting the T-wrap in place, make sure not to cover up the collar, leave it exposed for future inspections and maintenance. Now all the collars we've installed so far are assuming you've got the right size hole for the service. But what happens when you've cut the wrong size hole or you've had a go and you've misplaced it and you end up with something like this? Maxilite board is the answer. We can face fix this over the penetration to close up the gaps and then fix the collar directly onto this board instead. When you're retrofitting maxillite board, make sure to fill up all the gaps with Fireflex sealant to the full depth of the 60mm maxillite board. Now there are some pipes that you will need to use an additional thickness of maxillite. A 100mm PVC pipe will get 90-90 in a 60mm section of maxillite. To get dash 120-120, you need an extra 30mm of board. So I'm just going to retrofit this over the top just locally around the penetration. Now 
And that's it guys, that's how you install fire choke collars into a wall. You can install this to the underside of the floor slab as well for PVC, HDPE and mixed services. So check out the technical manual at tfire.com.au for all the approvals and all the install instructions. See you next time. Thank you.